Now, are you struggling with the idea that you have to let go of porn and masturbation forever? And do you find it hard to stay consistent with quitting pornography and masturbation when that fear keeps coming up? Now, I've heard this time and time again from people in the Reboot community, and they say, JK, I don't know if I can go without sexual release forever. And I can understand because I used to think this way as well. In fact, at a certain point, I even got depressed a few times while trying to reboot because I kept thinking about how dull and empty my life would be without pornography and masturbation. And this is why today I'm shooting this quick video to tell you a story of how I came to let go of a few beliefs that I realized. Now years ago, I was incredibly depressed and deprived and I was getting to the half year point of another streak, you know, without porn and masturbation. And I kept telling myself, JK, you're doing this for your own good. Soon you're gonna feel better. It really was a lie that I was repeating to myself day after day. And then I finally had an aha moment, which forced me to change my belief. So I'm gonna talk about those three beliefs that I realized over that period of a few months. Let's break it down real quick. So the first thing I realized was that I actually felt worse carrying the burden of staying off pornography than I did relapsing. That's the burden of being completely abstinent, staying completely away from pornography. Because think about it, when you're watching porn, right, at the very least, you're comfortable with that mediocrity, with that pain, because it's a pain you're familiar with, right? You know that you could quit if you seriously put in the effort. But when you decide, you know what, I'm going to stay off pornography and masturbation forever and ever and ever, your unconscious mind realizes that you're choosing to suppress a natural healthy urge. And so you end up fighting it every single day. So things like the 12 steps and some other approaches emphasize that one day at a time philosophy. And I realized that it was just causing me so much suffering. So I let that go. The second thing I realized was that instead of focusing on the areas of life that you are medicating with pornography and masturbation, like loneliness, strong emotions, maybe some trauma from your past and so on, you end up focusing on just one thing, staying off porn and masturbation. So the deeper issues are not really resolved. And even if you wanted to, you're so focused on one day at a time that you don't even have the mental capacity to identify any other issues that you're dealing with. And the final thing I realized, which was really tough to accept, was that you never actually grow, right? So outside of, let's say, maybe a therapist who went through some sort of abstinence model of quitting their addiction. When was the last time you actually came across a man who was actually living the life you wanted to live or close to the life you wanted to live and claimed that he was still in recovery? It's rare because when you practice full abstinence, you're forced to live a lifestyle which justifies suppression of core human instincts. You should be learning how to control your behavior, develop coping strategies around strong emotions, discovering what your unresolved issues are, making pornography less relevant in your life, while changing your beliefs about masturbation, about sex, about women. Now, removing the pressure of slipping, removing the requirement of I must never masturbate, ironically helps you realize that masturbation isn't as important or as relevant as you've made it out to be. That's how you truly reboot and live a healthy, sexually fulfilling life. So as you can see, brother, the thought process that I needed to be abstinent from porn and masturbation forever was actually untrue. I'll always remember that day when I realized that I could end my porn and masturbation addiction without having to be abstinent from all sexual behavior outside of a committed relationship. So as you can see, brother, the thinking process that I needed to be abstinent forever was actually untrue. And I'll always be thankful for the process that I went through to realize that I could end my porn and masturbation addiction without having to be abstinent from all sexual behavior outside of sex with a committed partner the rest of my life. It actually freed me to live a richer, fuller life. And to further clarify, I have spoken about this a few days ago. It simply means that if you slip once in a while, or if your brain rewires and you find yourself still masturbating once in a while, it's not the end of the world because masturbation is natural and healthy for most men. And for a small percentage of men, it's often going to lead to a slip. So you have to decide for yourself what sort of man you are when it comes to that behavior. But you can only decide that once you've been through the reboot process. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure that you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. 
The second way is to actually get a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men, where you'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I learned over the past 14 years, as well as get strategies for putting together your own personalized reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video to get the free ebook. And thirdly, if you're not sure where you'd like to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, or you'd like to spend time with more like-minded professionals, like entrepreneurs, business owners, men who work in sales or consulting or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join the group in the description below this video. And finally, if you need our help right now because you have a burning issue, it's an emergency. Your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally. You're about to lose your relationship and you want to live up to your potential or be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this video that actually says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.